Alrighty, welcome back. It's another uh, pretty calm day here in the Sound. It's uh, early to mid-July. A little overcast, but very calm, so pretty happy. Water temps are uh, hitting that 70 mark. And I'm trying for Fluke, Seabass, Porgy. Pretty much in that order as well. I'm gonna first try a ledge and then work my way with the current along that depth line more or less to see if there's fluke in like the deeper areas so let me try and we'll try some metal jig heads with gulp I'm trying to really see if i can get a fluke i mean it's been tough i know there's short fluke now in the bay i've been catching you know one or two here and there but they're all shorts yeah i'm really just looking for keeper fluke i'd almost rather come out here catch porgies then just catch short fluke and now that it is you know early to mid july it just feels kind of stagnant out here you can kind of tell that we're in the summer you know in the bay you can pretty much catch small bluefish or they call them snappers but you know that's it it's mostly small fish now in the bay uh, you might find some stray big fluke but You'd have to put some time in to, to uh, you know, connect with one, I think. That's why I kind of go out in the sound more in the summer. Because there's usually a decent amount of porgies, which are always fun. And there are. They're stray fluke, but they're hard to find. And sea bass are hard to find as well. But at least there's, like, bigger fish usually in the sound and in the summer. So that's kind of why I stay out here. And then as the water temps start cooling, you know, bay fishing picks up again. I'm gonna give it a go. We got a porgy. We do not have a porgy. Feels like a sea bass. Digging. I hope it's a keeper. Hard to say with this for a light rod. Ooh, I think so. Oh man. Just a big, big porgy. Wow. He wasn't shaking his head like a typical porgy does. About a 15 incher. Yeah. 15 incher on the metal.
sure it bleed them out good. It's crazy how these, these jumbo guys don't, they don't really follow the school. I get, I get you know, it's with all fish, once they get big enough, start breaking off into smaller schools become little wolf packs as fun as that was this guy is number three on the list we do gotta stay on track with our goals here Probably a school of smart porgies. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the next ledge. Alright, so I'm gonna put a bit of a more flute presentation on. My drift speed is uh, 0.75, yeah, 0.7 miles an hour. A little slow, but not so bad. Almost with the current. Kind of like on an angle, maybe it's like this is the tide, I'm like this. It's not terrible. Maybe I'll try to adjust it a little bit. sure most of the marks that I'm seeing is just porgies. use you as bait. I'm gonna throw the underwater down just to see what it looks like down there. So here's the underwater footage. Started out in probably around 20-25 feet. There's a nice black fish. Bottom was uh, what you're seeing here. Pretty much rocks, some sand, a little bit of shell. I'm drifting, spearing in hopes of getting a fluke if there was one, but I didn't see a single one. Here you're gonna see on the left a uh, sea bass, I believe. Very interesting colored sea bass, but I'm almost positive that's a sea bass. When the water changes blue like this, I don't really think it's anything to do with the water color. It's uh, just the GoPro adjusting to the lighting. I let this uh, next clip run out in its entirety because you can just see there's so many porgies. A lot of them are small, but this is definitely a decent school of porgy that I'm drifting through. And they're coming in, coming close, but not really taking it. You see that one right there? It came in pretty quick. They come in quick, but then they kind of turn away at the last second on this drift. 
Eventually they do start hitting it though. And as you'll see later on, it seems that once a couple of them start hitting it, they start getting aggressive and almost fighting each other for it. Uh, in this drift here, you're going to see them sort of pick at it. And eventually, I'm going to lose the bait to it. Uh, but I have a, a small little spoon in front of the of the spearing which creates a little bit of flash and you'll see them following that even with no bait behind it so they're definitely attracted to the flash with, without a doubt coming up in the bottom right you're gonna see a decent sized blackfish Water clarity isn't great, but this is what it is in the summer. I would say this is average or better than average. It's very hard to get beyond 20 feet of water in the, in the area where I am. It's not unheard of for porgies to hit spearing. They definitely do it and I've caught them on it before, but it does seem that they were slightly more aggressive than usual hitting the spearing on this day and I think it really did have something to do with some smaller bait being in the water at the time. In this clip I actually hooked the spearing purposely by the tail to kind of create that uh, corkscrewing effect sort of like a crippled herring and yeah they still loved it so the problem is is just once they start hitting that spearing it just gets so broken up so the head is still the best place to hook it probably just because it holds the hook the best uh, this next segment is really cool you're gonna see I only have half of a spearing left on the hook there from the porgies hitting it but that won't matter because you're gonna see some big porgies uh, jostling for the bait and that flash is definitely attracting them so watch this Isn't that a ridiculously powerful attack there, though, by that second porgy? You can see he has it in his mouth. The first porgy has the bait in his mouth, and the second one pretty much just punches him in the face with his own face, trying to get the, get the bait. After watching this, I knew I probably should have switched to a smaller profile for Fluke, but yeah, I couldn't find any here, and the porgies were just too aggressive. Oh man, I just got, I was just in the underwater and this guy, this guy crushed it. Wow. It's a 13 inch porgy. We've got enough for today, so I'm gonna let him swim. it for today I uh, gotta get back and yeah it's just pretty much porgies out here and hopefully I got some uh, underwater footage of the porgies uh, chewing there I think they were feeding on smaller bait I think there's spearing out here I was using spearing on the underwater and they were just absolutely crushing it I mean it was pretty much non-stop hitting the spearing uh, yeah, they're mostly in the, the 20 foot range. They're also in like the 40 feet, but I think they were more prevalent in the shallower areas. I definitely tried for fluke today. I, I didn't only give it like a 15 minute thing. I gave it a, an hour and a half. Either they weren't there or I just wasn't doing the right thing. 
that's, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed and uh, catch you back in on the next one. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure they're spearing in the water. Either that or like anchovies or something. Something small. There he goes again.